These original tack strips are in pretty good shape. They're well secured. And the spacing between the wall and the tack strip, which we refer to as a gully, is right about 3 eighths of an inch. That's what we want. So this is good, this is all we're gonna need. Well, not really. What I, I have a problem with the fact that these are so thin, so narrow. What I'd like to do is beef them up with a, an additional strip because we have less chance of carpet failure. Send them down. Now Carlos is putting down the adhesive for the pad and it's very important to do the seams as well. Obviously we don't want them separating and we don't want any shifting at the seams. And this is a little insurance policy. What we're doing is just rolling it out. We're gonna put it in position, fold it upon itself to make it easier to handle. So why aren't you cutting all the way across? Well, what we're doing here is we want to create a flap to drop this through the hallway all in one piece, eliminating the need for a seam. Now this isn't scrap, this is our fill piece. This is going to be used to seam in two pieces to fill in this area that we're lacking cut. Okay. Okay, the key to a good seam is to start off with a clean, straight edge. Okay. The cut is done in this situation with a cushion back cutter. The way it's designed, it has a little plowing front end and a blade that can drop down from the center. Okay. So what I do is I put it back into where I just separated the yarn and I follow it with that plow with slight pressure keeping the knife straight. We don't want any angle to the edge. Okay. So as we go, we create this perfect seam edge. Oh, yeah. Before seam construction, we need to apply latex seam sealer to assure that the backings will stay together and will not separate. Okay, now that the seam sealer is dried, we're ready to construct the seam. We line it up, make sure everything's even, then we put the seam tape underneath and center it on the seam. It's heat activated. He's gonna take a seam and iron and iron that tape and that activates the adhesive, which then in turn goes into the backing of the carpet. What we normally do is just get up close to it. And now I'm not stretching this, I'm just hooking it on the pins because this tool is made for positioning, not for stretching. So we just give it a slight tap, holding it on the pins of the tack strip, making sure that we, we've penetrated the backing. Next we take this chisel-like tool, which is called a stair tool, mm -hmm. and just kind of rub it along to make sure that we're connected here. So that really gets it down onto the right. tack strip. We want those pins to be up into the backing. Okay. Next, we're gonna be using this wall trimmer, which has two blades. We have a blade for coming in either direction. So what I would first do is make a diagonal starter cut. And it looks okay. like this has got some sort of a sled right here, or a fence, that actually will right. go up against the wall. That's right. What you do is this, you would hold tight up against the wall, and you're gonna keep pressure here as you're pushing along. And that blade will be doing the cutting for us. So we just move it right along. Make short sure work of it. Right. So how do you uh, treat this sort of rough edge right here? I use my knee kicker once again, positioning it with this space right in front of the tack strip. Yeah. And just slightly push it, take my stair tool, and tuck this into that gully. Okay, what we're doing now is moving the power stretcher into position. So power stretcher, how does this thing work? What we have here is a heel up against that wall we just secured. Yep, so braced up against the far wall. Right. Bunch of tubes, holes here for adjustment. Correct, and we have a ratcheting tube that allows for easier motion. And in this end? In this end here, what we have is a head with the teeth similar to the head on the uh, knee kicker, mm -hmm. so but a much, much wider, so we can do yeah. a bigger area. Okay. So what we do is we make sure we got a good grip, pull slightly, but evenly, and you can feel by the tension how much you've got. You've really stretched this carpet tight. Yes, and the tack strips are holding everything in place. Okay, now we're looking pretty good down that end. Now we're ready to stretch our length. So uh, we need to secure this down? Right. We'll just finish securing this here hallway area, uh, stretch our last two remaining walls. We'll be moving furniture back in shortly.